Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Well today we're going to look at it, some of the motor oil brands and find out which one is the best motor oil. Who makes the best motor oil for small engines? Uh, for commercial or for uh, consumer, regular consumer lawn equipment, lawn mowers, zero turn tractors, you name it. If you look at the prices, we're going to look at the commercial grade zero turns because the prices are extremely extremely high very expensive an average price as you can see on the screen for commercial lawnmower zero turn we're talking about what 12 13 thousand and look at the warranties with those things the warranties are not that great either but the price you know and if you start going to the like diesel and with the diesel engine options you're talking about twenty thousand. You know, you can buy a brand new car for twenty thousand these days, or or a year, couple of years old for even less. That's how expensive commercial equipment became these days. And one of the main uh, mistakes people make: they buy the equipment and then they cheap out on oil. They just don't change very often. You know, if you look at those uh, companies that make those commercial uh, equipment, they all use. They don't make their own engines. They use somebody else's engine. Color, you know, there's three very popular, well-known engines. You know, there's others, but out like a Kohler, Briggs & Stratton, a Kubota engine when it comes to diesel, uh, Kawasaki. You know, top three gas engines in commercial lawnmowers are Kawasaki, Kohler, Kohler and Briggs and & Stratton. These are the three main engines. So all those companies that make those $12,000 zero turns lawnmowers they don't have their own engines they buy somebody else's then if you look at what their oil recommendation change in their wells look at the skag they say every other week change your oil or every hundred hours whichever comes first why every other week who has time to do this well here is the thing either you change the oil or often or, or replace your oil more often as they say or replace equipment what's cheaper of course changing oil is cheaper and it doesn't take the long i know changing oil on those uh, lawnmowers it's it's a messy thing it's the drain plug location is it it's all over the place that's why when it comes to changing oil there is you can do a simple way use a top sider very simple i don't even unscrew my plug anymore and actually with a top sider you can get more oil out of the engine down with the through the drain plug because the location of the drain plug on those lawnmowers is in bad location. You know, it's design flaw, I would say. However, using top sider, you can get more oil. Let's go back to the oils. Who makes the oils? Who has the best more oil for those equipment? Keep in mind, actually, don't forget to, when you change your oil, change your filters. Filter, oil filter. This is what I use in my lawn equipment. I don't use VEX in my cars, but I use VEX filters in my lawn equipment lawn equipment i've been using it for 10 years and my lawnmower is it's a tractor and it's it's running like brand new engine is spotless on the inside no oil leaks no squeaks you know nothing it's and i have you know good size of property that i cut my grass and and then leaves remove in the fall so it's 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 running i when i run it i run it about an hour at least maybe more every time i cut the grass so of course it's not comparing to the guys that do commercial when they're running it for you know six seven eight hours a day maybe longer depending on the property so i guess we'll start with the kawasaki from right to left does kawasaki make their own oil no they do not make their own oil. I want to show you guys something on the screen. No one makes their own oil. All those companies, Kohler, Kawasaki, Briggs & Stratton, you name it. They go to oil companies, to the suppliers. Since we start with the Kawasaki, it's a four-cycle engine, K-Tech, synthetic blend. Uh, not much information actually you're going to find online, but what, what I was able to find, and you see, it says, manufactured in USA for Kawasaki. So well kawasaki it's it's already a giveaway that kawasaki doesn't make engine engine oil none of those come because it requires a billion dollar 
a factory or chemical factory to produce an oil. And it makes no sense for those companies to spend, even if it's a million dollars, they will never recover those money. That's why they go to oil companies and say, formula oil for us, this is what we're looking in that oil, and they make their oil. Who makes the Kawasaki oil? Well, actually, for Kawasaki, Sitco makes their oil. Look at the screen. So I made a short recording, as you can see on the screen, it's who makes the oil. It's Kawasaki doesn't make the oil. Even though the date is on it, you're going to say, well, the date is old. Well, you're not going to find anything newer. I could not find any new word information for SDS for Kawasaki. So, and the reason why, because Sitco still makes Kawasaki oil for Kawasaki. What about Kohler? One of the major engine producers like Kawasaki, they don't make their own oil either. Look who makes their oil on the screen. Warren Petrochemical Company makes an oil for them. Is this oil any good? Well, synthetic blend again. How much information, what specifications can you find on this oil on Kawasaki or Kohler? There isn't anything. But I have a, something, a good news for you guys about the Kohler. Kohler just recently signed a contract with M-Soil. M-Soil is going to be making some oil for Kohler. Why? Why can't they go to mobile? Well, here's the thing. Kohler engines or Briggs and Stratton engines, any of those air-cooled engines, Kawasaki engines, they run hot. This is the reason why they say change the oil more often. This is the reason why those companies making now synthetic blend oil, not synthetic, but synthetic blends, because those engines run hot. They run, air-cooled engines run extremely hot, and it's either you change the oil or you fix the engines and replace the engines. So uh, there is no, you, you have only one option, either the cheapest alternative and the quickest alternative is to replace the oil more often and using a quality oil. Like I said, Kohler already signed the contract with M-Soil. So M-Soil will be making oil for Kohler. What about Briggs and Stratton? Well, I have a good news for you. See, it says Briggs and Stratton, synthetic. Yep, M-Soil. Oh, yep. They already have the contract. They're already signed. So M-Soil makes oil for Briggs & Stratton. So if you're looking for an oil, uh, a quality performance oil that you can run longer and have less wear on your equipment, Briggs & Stratton engines already, for Briggs & Stratton, M-Soil already makes. They already have the contract. And they're already making the oil. Same thing for the color. But here's the thing. You don't have to wait for... Uh, for that label, for that specific oil, M-Soil already makes oil for all those engines. If you look in the back, right there, Kubota, Kawasaki, Anon, and Vanguard, there's so many oils out there that, and so many, uh, see, 10 w 40 There is 10W Tory, there is 5W Tory, there is all kind of stuff M-Soil makes. And just these are just a small sample that I'm showing you. If you look at the screen on M-Soil website, they give you details that it's, you know, commercial grade, small engine oil, 100% synthetic oil. Why would you want to use something non-synthetic and run longer in an engine while it will destroy your engine? You know, run synthetic. This oil, actually it says that it's good up to... 200 hours right there helps cut maintenance costs of course if you can change your oil every 200 hours versus every 100 hours that's that's the savings right there it saves you money and saves you time instead of fixing it you can be making money that's no brainer that's common sense but not many people know that's why i made this video so you guys, guys can learn that that changing oil is a lot cheaper than changing equipment. If it says every 100 hours, change every 100 hours. Switch to synthetic oil. You can get more life out of your engine. Synthetic oil tolerates heat higher, flows easier when engine is cold, lubricates engine when it's hot better, has uh, does not evaporate or has less uh, oil consumption, synthetic versus synthetic blend or conventional. So synthetic oil with synthetic filter or synthetic blend or even with a quality filter like Vicks, 
it's a win-win situation, either commercial grade or regular consumer, you know what I mean, $1,500 lawnmower. You can make the lawnmower run 30 years if you just change the oil more often and use synthetic oil. Another thing that I want to mention in this video is hydraulic fluid. All of those lawnmowers, they run hot, engines run hot, hydraulic uh, the, 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 the transmission, the, uh, the blades, that if it's hydraulically act, act, activated instead of belt driven, they run hot, extremely hot. That hydraulic oil, you better change it more often or you're going to be changing your uh, hydrostatic, hydrostatic, hydrostatic transmission or your pump for the hydrostatic transmission. It's, it's just the fluid itself is a lot cheaper. And and if you decided that it's time to move on to something better, you can always always resell your used equipment at a higher price if it was maintained. If you say, "Yep, my hydrostatic transmission was fluid replaced or more often," and it's not that difficult. Top sider, top sider makes life easier. You put it in a tank, and you extract everything. You put a fresh fluid in. You're good to go. You don't have to pull the drain plugs or any of that stuff. That's why, you know, there is, there is a solution for everything. You just got to know where to look and for what. So, thank you for watching. How questions, ask me in the comment section. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.